Good morning, everyone. It's 11.30, late vlogging today. It's been a lot of commotion at the school down the road, um, the high school. Um, they said that a suspicious person walking towards the school, so the schools are on lockdown right now. The police are there, helicopters are there. Someone riding a bike down the road actually took video of a policeman getting out of his car, drew his, drew his gun and had the guy on the floor within seconds. So, but apparently there may be more than this one. So we don't know, but anyway, we'll find out as long as the kids are safe and the teachers. Happy Tuesday. Um, Kaylee switched today, so she's gonna come up four. So Luna's on the other side of the bed sulking. I pulled the fireplace out, pushed it in a bit. The noise has stopped. Could have just been something the way it was laying, so. Right now it's good, we got it all in orange. Gotta have the glow. Um, oh, it is? All right, it's on the news now. Oh, at the bottom, you read it? Yeah. Oh. Search is still ongoing, so there must have been more than one. But we won't be going down that way today anyway. It's the pretty area that we go down. Well, that's, Scary, scary world, guys. But we have another beautiful day, sunny, blue skies, seven in one. Uh, Maddie, I think, wants a bottle, so she's a bit niggly in there. She want a bottle, Ash? What? Does she want her bottle? Yeah, I just have to Oh, I'll make it. Let me go make Maddie's bottle. Okay. What are we looking at? What are we looking at? Oh. I just don't want anyone to ever worry that Luna is abused or not happy here, isn't comfortable. She makes herself quite at home with all the fluffy pillows, don't you? Maddie's watching her bees. Ash is working online. Okay, guys, you can tell I'm in a very sentimental mood. I've already been in tears. I started off, um, and this is when you know I'm in a sentimental mood because I'm watching Celebrity Big Brother and it's last Friday's episode. I haven't seen it yet and it's the eviction. And it was when they did, the, um, I don't know if anybody's watching it. I know a lot of people don't like Big Brother, let alone Celebrity Big Brother, the English one. But um, they were doing that, was it Serene Circle? And they were talking about some of the things in their life. And you think, you know, you always think, oh, these celebrities, they've got it made. But we know, we all know, they go through as many ups and downs as we do. It's just when they're out on camera, it's just a big cheesy smile and everything's good. And that's the persona they give to us. But we all know, because I go out the house too and everything's wonderful and fine. But like when I'm sat here sometimes, oh, you know, things aren't always so great. But I'm not saying they're not great now, I'm just saying... So anyway, to hear some of their strifes was really like tear jerking, but then it just got me tearing up on other things. And then it leads to mum, always lead, all paths lead to mum. But um, yeah, anyway, um, just scrub my toilet. So I am being a little bit productive in between things. Um, I am watching that right now and taking a bit of a break. I started to eat my lunch. It got stuck, I got ill, end of lunch. So I'll be ready for dinner later. We're gonna have roast chicken and I'm just gonna have salad with mine. And the kids are gonna have twice baked potatoes. Um, so that's dinner tonight. Luna's over there snoozing. Kaylee will be here in about 40 minutes for her walk. So she'll be excited. It has gotten warm. And just so you know, I know Jack had warned me in the beginning about Luna and her walks. This is later in the day. But Kelly and I had a big talk about it yesterday and she was telling me, she goes, I just want you to always know that when I do walk them, I know it's hot. I keep the dogs on grass and stuff like that. And I know she does because she absolutely loves animals and she'll do anything. So I wasn't even worried with the way she was taking care of Luna because I know she's brilliant. And I said to her, I said, yeah. And when Jack said that to me, it was several, several months ago, after not long after he first got here and Luna was starting her walks. I didn't even think of that. So I do appreciate when, especially people that lived here a long, long time, let me know things. Um, because I, it's something that doesn't register with me. It didn't, didn't even click 
So, um, but yeah, Luna is obviously taken care of and her walks are safe, but she'll be ready for that at uh, four o'clock because every time the doorbell goes or something happens, Luna's like running to the door. Please be Kaylee, please be Kaylee. Soon, Luna Bella. Um, it came on the news that school's back to normal, um, that there was the, every, they reacted to a call, um, but everything was fine. So it doesn't seem there was a gunman in the heading towards the school. I don't know what they just said. What did they say, in fact? Hold on. Just so I'm not ad-libbing and someone goes, that's not what they said. Uh, let me get back to that. It was on Twitter. Twitter. Ash and I were trying to find it like crazy. Home, home on the range. Follow, oh, no, not followers, following. I only started following them this morning. The Orlando police. Was it the Orlando police? No, it wasn't the Orlando police. Because that's a big Orange County Sheriff's Office. It says... Update. Lockdown lifted at that high school. Everyone is safe. Deputies completed their ex exhaustive search of the campus and determined there was no suspicious person as had been reported. The school is resuming normal operations. Thank you, everyone, for your patience, cooperation and attendance as we work to investigate this. So that was good. There was no suspicious person as had been reported. So that was good. So, um, just glad that everybody's safe. Parents were getting upset, of course, like kids were texting them, you know, we're being quiet, we're here, we're there, we're under desks, whatever it is. And you guys know, when we used to do the photography at the high school, I told you guys this, for ones that were with me back then, you know, we would be, we'd be doing the senior portraits down in one of the rooms off of the cafeteria and there was a lockdown procedure and they would do just like they do fire drills they would do lockdown procedure drills and pete and i were in the one room where we were doing the pictures which was a very small room and if you were at certain tables went to that room the t other tables went to the computer room where we used to do the yearbook meeting next door others went to the back offices the kitchen and whatnot and i remember sitting in there with about 30 kids all just crammed in this tiny little room and it just broke my heart and I said to Pete I just can't believe that our kids are going to school now and they have to worry about stuff like this it's you know the fire drills are one thing but having to worry and have obviously you know the fact that you even have to have procedures in play now for this it's just scary and you know Kids used to go to school just to go to school, to learn, to come home, go to school, come home. Now there's all these different things that these kids have to worry about. And it just was, when I was looking around the kids' faces, I was didn't get emotional in front of them, but when they went out, I said to Pete, that was heavy. And he felt it too. Like, you know, that was Ashley's school, the school that she went to and stuff. And we've done, um, we, would, we did pictures there from 11, 2011 to 2022, 21, 21 or 22. When did Pete leave me? Um, 21, I think we did pictures there till September 21. Um, so, you know, we knew the kids, we knew the kids back then and it just was like, it's tough anyway. Anyway, um, less of that. But anyway, this, this is good, good news. Um, it was, ended up being nothing, but procedures are in place for a reason and everybody's safe. Whew, that got a bit heavy. I'm gonna leave you for a bit and talk to you soon. Oh, Ash has gone to get John, if I didn't say. And Maddie's gone too, and I think he has an appointment, doctor's appointment after. So I don't know when I'll see them, probably around five-ish. It's 3.30 now. Don't smoke the pissy stuff. Hmm? <laughs>
Yeah. Big burp, Luna. Yeah, that was a big burp, Luna. Because you just guzzled down some water. It's okay, I forgive you. Guys, we're going to end the vlog. It's 25 past 11. I didn't realize Ash and I were watching Ben the Pump Rules, but Ash is watching it. We're watching it on Peacock because Ash hasn't seen it. And so we were watching it from the beginning. Luna's just had a biscuit because she was outside. Maddie's going, drifting off to sleep. So another day is done. So anyway, guys, I hope you've all had a brilliant, brilliant Tuesday, whatever it is you did today. Hope it was a good one. And we'll definitely see you tomorrow. Take care, guys. Stay safe. And if you haven't, please subscribe.